This following scene will be a simple example on how to use the waypoint sub. Let's say I have a network or part of a network, in our case this part here, which is fairly expensive to compute, so instead of having Houdini recompute it for each frame all over and over again, I want to write this to disk and reuse the results that I've written to disk. So this is what the waypoint node is for. So I'm going to create a waypoint node and put it below the uh, below the part of the network in question. Everything will be written to disk up to the waypoint node. So all these. And it's very easy to use. You, you just have to give it a name, like for example particles. We have to uh, activate it. It doesn't matter that there is no geometry on disk yet. And we have to set up so uh, it would render a sequence and take this on because we are caching particles and uh, basically this is it just press render and the geometry I've written to disk <coughs> okay so uh, it's written to disk we can check it out press open in file manager and uh, there we go now the waypoint node by default behaves in a way or is set up in a way that uh, it generates the geometry relative to the location of the scene file in the scene file folder it's going to create a temporary simulations folder and within that folder it's going to create or it already created one folder for each waypoint so in this case for this one with the same name and uh, it wrote the geometry there. So it's pretty simple and it's uh, set it up in this way to be as convenient as possible but it's still flexible enough to, uh, to for uh, most advanced purposes.